Hey guys, Mars Lincoln here bringing another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and so we have the Kid Buu Super Easy A coming out on both versions tomorrow. Uh, it's morning for me, very late in the evening depending on where you are in the US. Uh, it's 9am UK time, basically the general time that stuff releases on JP. Pretty much the trend we've been following with these Easy A's during this celebration as same time stuff usually releases on the JP schedule. So physical Kid Buu Super Easy A. Did the video breaking down his details and everything yesterday so obviously check that out if you haven't seen it he seems incredible very very good unit great super easy a looking forward to using him in the game now when it comes to his medals we of course get a new difficulty stage added to the kid boo red zone the level super uh, doing this gives you three medals each time and you need 30 medals to do the super easy a however there are a bunch of missions that get added in order to help you uh, get this done a little bit faster so we're going to take a look at what those missions are and then as always with these guides we'll go through some units that are going to be useful. The super easy A guides are not like the normal easy A guides because we're not really, I don't really go through how to build like the whole team. Because ideally you want to focus on units that have easy A's and then of course the ones that will be specifically uh, relative to the missions that are available. So obviously there are just going to be a bunch of units that you are potentially going to want to include on your team. But we're not going to do like the full team build like who's the best leader and all that kind of stuff. There will be some units getting a mention that will be better than others for being leaders for this team. But we'll go ahead and take a look. So if we switch over to the missions here over on Dokon Info. So these are the missions for the physical Kid Buu Super Easy A stage. So win the stage with at least three Extreme Z Awakened characters on your team. Gets you three more medals. Uh, win with at least three Miraculous Awakening characters on your team. And you get six medals and then win within four minutes and you get another six medals. Now, this in total, if you beat all of the missions, gives you 15 medals, which is half the medals you need. So this cuts down on the amount of runs you have to do. As long as you beat all of the uh, missions, don't, don't have to do them all in one go, you could do one and then another one or one and then two, regardless. As long as you beat all the missions in that number of attempts, five clears of this stage, plus the missions gets you all the medals that you need, right? So you might want to try a speed run, get the four minutes, then try one that just has a bunch of Miraculous Awakening characters and you don't have to worry about how long it takes. Or, you know, with the right team, it is very possible to just get all of them done all in one go. So Extreme Z Awakened characters, they do more damage in the Super Easy A stage anyway, so it's always worth bringing a bunch of them. You want three for the mission, three Miraculous Awakening characters, and then win within four minutes. So if we switch back to the wiki here, now Pure Saiyans was the weakness for the Kid Buu stage overall. And of course, STR Pure Saiyans is a uh, very heavily loaded category uh, with a lot of units with easy A's. So a lot of these guys are going to be very, very useful. And then, of course, the other thing you have to consider is Miraculous Awakening for that mission in particular. And there are a few good STR characters on Miraculous Awakening. Um, with some easy A's as well. So it should be fairly straightforward in order to get this stage done. And remember, like I said, the missions, you only have to do them the one time. So, you know, if you build a team specifically to get the Miraculous Awakening mission, you could then switch to like a full STR Pure Saiyans that are all easy aid or something like that, just to make the actual clears of the stage a little bit easier. Or, you know, whichever works for you as the best team. Because when it comes to uh, thinking of some characters that we uh, are potentially going to want to use, well, if you're on JP, you're obviously going to have a great time with the fact that we have the uh, Beast Gohan, who not only is a Miraculous Awakening character, he's STR, he leads Miraculous Awakening, as well as Superheroes, which has a bunch of pure Saiyans with easy A's, as well as Miraculous Awakening characters anyway. Um, so this guy is the go-to. If you have Beast Gohan, if you're on JP, you just use this guy as the leader, right? He's the best unit in the game. Um, so he's leading the team. He'll absolutely destroy Kid Buu. Won't take a lot of damage. Um, so even as a non-easy A character, he is like a go-to unit for this event, right? Uh, then we have characters like, for example, the STR Super Vegeta. Now, STR Super Vegeta, he is not on Miraculous Awakening, but 
he is a character that leads pure saiyans he is str he's got an easy a so he's a unit that will absolutely be fantastic not just for the team but also as a leader if you want to build a full str pure saiyans uh, setup so this guy will be really really good um the amount of damage that he'll be able to do to kid Buu will be ridiculous um you might not want to risk putting him in slot one i still i'm not sure exactly how hard the physical uh, super easy a kid boo will hit in the super difficulty stage but even without getting hit first with his easy a he does a pretty decent attack stat gets a guaranteed crit and then his defense post super is obviously a lot better so super vegeta is certainly a go-to unit for this and can be a good leader as well um then we have ui goku so this guy more so for jp because he's str he has an easy a and then, of course, he is on Miraculous Awakening. Um, and of course, he's super on superheroes as well anyway. So he will go on Beast Gohan's team. And of course, there's the AGL UI Goku that also has his EZA on JP and is in Miraculous Awakening and Pure Saiyans. So those two together will be an absolute ridiculous combo. I mean, if you have Beast Gohan and then you have both these guys with their EZAs, I mean, they're just going to absolutely devastate this stage. Now, if you're a global player... And these guys don't have their easy A's yet, but in terms of doing the Miraculous Awakening mission, if you're not, if you don't have any other units that you really can use to fulfill that quota, these guys will be okay as long as they get their dodges in. They're not going to do a huge amount of damage, and then ideally you just want to bring other units on the team who are going to take care of the damage department, and then if these guys get their dodges off, they'll be surviving, and then you'll be able to make it through to the end. Now, we do have the STR Goku and Vegeta that fuse into Vegito. Uh, whilst they're not on Miraculous Awakening, they are pure Saiyans, they've got an easy A, so they'll be doing tons of damage to this uh, Kid Buu, so these guys are absolutely a go-to unit. Um, you are probably not going to get to see Vegito, I mean you could get to turn 4, I guess, um, and then obviously if you're at 77% or less HP, you can fuse, get the full heal, Super Vegito comes out, and then probably just annihilates Kid Buu with a bunch of counters. Um, and that's only available on turn four if you reach the HP threshold. Uh, and with easy A's, you very often don't manage to even get to turn four as it is. Or sometimes turn four is the last turn. So you might get to see him. But of course, these guys are an absolute go-to unit. Very good defense, have a bunch of built-in additionals and crit. Very, very good unit for this event, 100%. Uh, then we have the God Goku. So God Goku is a unit that, whilst he doesn't have type advantage, he's a pure Saiyan. He's on Miraculous Awakening, and then his leader skill is Pure Saiyans or Hybrid Saiyans. So his leader skill gives you a massive array of options where you can just run a whole bunch of STR units with easy A's. You can run Miraculous Awakening characters to do that mission. Like, there are so many things that you can do um, in order to make a team with this guy as the leader. And then he will be solid on the team. If you can get the orbs, he has the guard. So it doesn't really matter that he has type disadvantage anyway. Um, but yeah, he's very, very uh, solid as a leader. Now, there is the option for the STR God Goku. Because depending on how you're building the team, if you're not using this guy as a leader, remember, he doesn't have an easy A. So if you're not using him as a leader, you could use this guy because he has an easy A, right? His leader skill is, of course, not good enough to be run as a leader, but he has an easy A, which means he'll be doing bonus damage, um, and he's a Miraculous Awakening character. So I think overall, because of the bonus that they do to the bosses in super easy A uh, stages, this guy probably does more damage than the physical Goku anyway. So if you don't need to use the physical Goku as a leader, I would probably just go ahead and use this guy on the team instead, right? Uh, then we have the Broly, if you're on JP. Uh, another honourable mention here, of course. Um, his leader skill, transformation boost or full power, can carry a lot of pure Saiyans or Miraculous Awakening characters as well. So you could even end up using him as a leader if you wanted to, like if you don't have Beast. Um, now, he is not on Miraculous Awakening. No, he is on Miraculous Awakening himself. So literally, if you're on JP and you don't have Beast Gohan, you could just use this guy and a Beast Gohan friend, depending on... Uh, actually, I don't know his... I, I'm not super up on all of his categories and everything because obviously we haven't used him on global. Uh, he is not on full power. Oh, yeah, he is on full power. Yeah. So they do have crossover. So you can use uh, Broly as the lead and then a beast friend. So that would be a viable option as well. And of course, Broly just does tons of damage. So even though he's not a unit with an easy A, 
he'll be able to do a lot of damage to Kid Buu and fulfills that Miraculous Awakening requirement. Then we have the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Now this guy is the uh, trifecta, he ticks all the boxes. Uh, he's on Miraculous Awakening, he's on Pure Saiyans, he's STR, and he has an easy A. So he ticks all the boxes for units that you want to run in this particular stage. So he could be very, very good. The only downside, of course, is having the Super Saiyan 4 links, which you're not going to get active with him unless you're bringing other characters. Um, I mean, you could bring the AGL LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku as well. Um, or even the tech full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, but this guy will be decent as an honorable mention, at least for the team. I don't think he's a top pick, but certainly very good. Now, a top pick, if you do have him, of course, is the STR Kaba, right? Like, hopefully, people, if you did go in and summon on those banners when they came back with the guaranteed pulls for the first two summons, managed to get a copy of this guy, because he is mono STR, STR orb changer, he's buffing STR, he's changing orbs, like, he's got guard, um, he's got a really good super attack effect, so basically, really, really good. Um, this guy is a 100% must run on the team if you have him. Like, there'd be no reason not to run him, I guess, unless you're, for some reason, just not running any other STR characters. But this guy, if you have him, he makes the team 100%. He's not on Miraculous Awakening, but... Um, other than that mission, he's absolutely perfect for this stage. Then we have the Namek Goku, bit of an older unit. Uh, he's on Miraculous Awakening. He's on some of these categories like Transformation Boost, which means he fits under some of the other leader skills. He's super STR with an easy A. Um, you could transform on turn three if you've lost a little bit of HP, which isn't super hard to get to. Um, and then, yeah, this guy, not the best unit, obviously, he's a bit old now, but he may, he gets an honourable mention for this stage, because just like that Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, he's ticking all of these boxes, right? He's in all the right categories, he's STR, um, he's got an easy A, so he can definitely be very, very good. And he starts off as a base Goku, for which we haven't really mentioned any so far, right? Because remember, easy A's can't use same known characters. Um, so yeah, he could be very good. And then last but not least, the Super Saiyan 2 Bardock. Again, Super STR, has an easy A, he's not on Miraculous Awakening, but he is also a support unit, so that can help juice up everybody else a little bit, and then uh, finish off the fight maybe a little bit earlier. So, uh, if we look back to Miraculous Awakening, like if you're on JP, Blue Evolution Vegeta, doesn't really matter that he has type disadvantage, so he could still be fine as well. Um, I guess the physical LR Gohan, if you're running Beast, could be good. Uh, the Sword of Hope Trunks can still be decent despite being um, type neutral. Not easy A, but still be very good. This Tech Gohan could be an interesting slot 3 floating support unit uh, because he is on Miraculous Awakening, um, not on Pure Saiyans. He's probably not ideal outside of doing the Miraculous Awakening mission. Um, and then, of course, I realized when we said about the base Goku. Funnily enough, there is the 1,000 Day Goku. If you've got to 2,000 days played in Dokkan, this guy has his easy A, so... He's a mono STR Goku with an easy A. Um, he'd be able to do some pretty decent damage as well. STR LR Broly uh, has his easy A, is a pure Saiyan. Um, he could do a ton of damage. So, I mean, there's a lot of useful units that you can use. We've just picked out some of the ones that will make it a little bit easier to complete some of these missions. Um, and then hopefully you guys can get all of the medals for this guy in the five runs and then have him easy aid and start testing him out. So I will be live streaming tomorrow when the easy A comes out. I'll be live a bit before because for global we have the new super battle road stages coming out. So we'll be doing that as well. So hopefully I'll see you guys on the stream tomorrow. Let me know what your team build is going to look like for the physical Kid Buu super easy A stage. Let me know if there's any units you think I missed out that we should have talked about. But yeah, let me know what your team's going to look like and I will see you guys at the stream so that is going to be it for the video guys this has been the master ningen smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new check out the links down below for the discord and the merch store and i will see you all again soon have a good one